guys and welcome back to my channel. So today um, I'm going to be doing the swatch video of the Tarte Big Blush book number three. I have never owned a Big Blush book by Tarte um, and obviously they've got three. I'm going to just assume. Anyway, um, I've, I have I fell in love with Tarte probably over a year ago or a little bit longer. Just their stuff was absolutely beautiful and I haven't really found a product I don't like. I love their I, one of their eyeliners. I love their Tarte Amazonian Clay foundation. Um, what else do I own? Oh, their eyeshadow palettes, of course. How did I forget that? Absolutely amazing. Some of their mascaras, amazing. Yeah. Anyway. That's enough Tarte Love. This is not a sponsored video at all. I bought this when I saw it on their Facebook page and I thought, yep, I've got to go and get my hands on that. I do own two Tarte blushes, but um, they are smaller size because they came in little packs and surprisingly, they're not in this like palette. I was really surprised by that. So. I'm actually quite happy by that too because it means I have eight, um, eight, yeah, eight new, well, seven more blushes and one highlighter. So I'll show you what it looks like. That's it there. I think it's absolutely stunning. I think it's beautiful. Packaging's a little bit cheap to me. Um, it's a bit foamy. This is a bit gimmicky to me, but I can depot these. Tarts even said that that they're able to be depotted really easily, so I'll probably depot them because I want to look after them, and I don't have a drawer big enough for this. <laughs> anyway, let's get into swatching. I'm not the best swatcher. You'll soon figure that out, but that's okay. I just want to show you the colors and what they look like. Um, I have swatched these already, um, just played around swatching them, so they are a little worn if you do notice that. So, yeah, I'm going to start up here and work my way around, so I'm starting with Blavish. I'll let you know what the names are that I swatch, so... So there we are, that's Blavish. It's a really nice colour. I think this is one of my favourites in here, to be honest. I'm not a super, like, pink on the cheek. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, I'm just wiping my finger off because, oh my god, that went everywhere. Anyway, let's get back into it. Um, the Poised, the Poised, no, it's just called Poised. That's the next one, and it is a bright pink. It is a Barbie pink, as I would call it. And I swatched that really badly. That's not actually the product. It's just my fault. So I've never had a problem with pigmentation on the cheeks. I've never had a problem with patchiness. So if that kind of helps you out with the formula... Um, yeah, this next one is so buttery, and I don't know whether it's, it was a different, like, they bought it out earlier, later, or whatever, but it's actually a really, really nice feel. Here we are. That is Mindful. And then we have Peachy. So, to me, Peachy has a sheen. Um, it's the only one in here that I can really say has a sheen. So there you go. That's those ones. Those two there. So at the moment we've got Lavish at the top, Poised, Mindful and Peachy. Then we're going to go in with Rad. Rad is a deeper colour of... Um, well, I think it's a deeper poised, to be honest. So poised is the second one we did. I'm swatching so badly. 
There we are. See that? So yeah, I think it's definitely similar to the top, the second top one. That's my opinion anyway. Um, they're probably, so I'd say poised and rad, so the second one and the last one that I've swatched so far would be the ones I'd least wear in the um, book, but apart from that, I'd still wear them, of course. So this next one has a really buttery feel as well, and this is Kindred, and to me this reminds me of like a terracotta, a deep terracotta brownie orange, which is obviously what terracotta is anyway. So yeah, so that's that one there. I really like that one. I think I'll get a lot of use out of that one, to be quite honest. So. And the last blush. Oop. Is Heated. Heated is kind of, is my kind of pink. So it's got more of a ready undertone than a pink undertone but it still is um that's probably my type of bright pink so that's those there i think they're absolutely gorgeous i really really do um and like i said i know the formula so i do know that it's a good formula i know it's really easy to work with it's really easy to blend you don't need a ton of product or anything like that at all um for them to work the one that I've never really played with, so I gave it a swatch, but the one I've never really played with is any Tarte highlighters. To be honest, I didn't actually know they had them, um, so that's a really bad fan paging of the girl here, but um, let's give this a go. I, I first swatched this and I was like, so I only run it back and twice about three times. Um, I know I look down there a lot, but, oh, so... That is spirited. Oh my god. Look at that. That looks just amazing. And look at that. Oh, like, and so I did this earlier. I was playing with it because I was like, oh my god. Look, it's buildable. Look at that. I. Oh my god. This doesn't quite work. I don't have a brush, but I feel like I just have to. Look at that. That automatically on my nose. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, Hopefully, when I use a brush and I actually do have a proper play around with it, I'll love it just as much as well. But there you go. So those there are the colours in the big blush book. And that is that there. I love it. I'm so glad I bought it. And it was expensive, but it wouldn't like it was cheaper than buying all of these separately. So that's definitely a bonus. And oh, look at that beautiful. <laughs> anyway, that's all for today. I just thought I'd give you a bit of a swatch video on them because I absolutely love it. I've seen it a lot on Facebook and things like that and I got my hands on it and I'm really glad I did because I, I do really like it. There's a couple of different formulas in there, I feel. I feel some are drier, some are more buttery, but they all swatch nice. They all, they all felt nice and I feel like Either one is going to work well on the cheek, so I don't think you'll have a problem with that at all, anyway. Um, they are very pigmented. They're... Yeah, good job, Tarte. <laughs> anyway, that's enough raving on about Tarte products. I love them. Not a sponsored video, but yeah, a big thumbs up to that book. I wouldn't say necessarily rush out and get it, because you might not like all these shades, but... I think, yeah, I think if you were, you love blush or you were a makeup artist, I think it would be really worthwhile because you're getting seven blushes, a highlighter, they're all different type, like colours, so then you have a fair few in your collection. But anyway, they're my final thoughts on that product. I love it. 
and let me know if you've tried it or you've tried any Tarte products that you absolutely rave about. I would love to know because I would love to try them out, to be honest. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video and I hope you've all had an amazing day. Bye guys.